My name is Anthony Galley, and when Pearl Harbor was attacked and my cousin went down with the Arizona, I quit high school and tried to join the Air Force because I was already flying for the Civil Air Patrol looking for German submarines. Uh, but they said I was too young, not quite 16, they wouldn't take me. So I went to the Marines, same story. And I went to the Navy, and the Navy took me as a selective volunteer. And they told me to go build ships at the Navy Yard in Philadelphia until they called me up for active duty. So I helped my, with my father build the battleships Wisconsin and Iowa, and then they called me up to active duty, and I got assigned to the USS Amsterdam as a radar man. One day we heard a tremendous boom. The sky, it was eight something in the morning, turned dark. The, the sea got turbulent and we thought we hit a mine. And we radioed back and forth and no ship of the fleet hit a mine. And soon we learned that an atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, uh, not far from us. And um, we didn't know what that meant. We didn't know what an atomic bomb was. It was just another bomb to us. Um, but we got hit with that radioactive dust cloud, and for which I have since endured many cancers. That was uh, August 6th when that bomb was dropped. And then uh, three days later, another bomb was dropped on Nagasaki. And uh, we were only 90 days away from invasion. So we knew there was going to be a lot of hell because uh, they had those beaches all ready for us. They had everything ready to, to launch and hit us. And there were going to be at least a million people killed on both sides. And uh, we didn't talk about it much, but we were frightened. Uh, so frightened that I wound up getting PTSD. When, uh, when Hirohito surrendered, and told the Army and the Navy and the Air Force to lay down their arms, uh, we all started celebrating aboard ship. And sailors were kissing girls in Times Square, and we were still fighting for our lives because the kamikazes came back. They wouldn't give up, and they came at us for two weeks. They hit some ships. Um, they got pretty wise at the end in the way they ended their lives. Instead of coming at a ship this way, torpedo style, they would go as come high as they down. could and come straight down. So when you hit them, they, all that debris would land on you anyway. And we fought them off for the better part of two weeks. And some of the guys that were celebrating were gone. And they went into meat lockers and uh, or were buried at sea. And uh, finally, the, it, 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 they quit, and we arranged for the surrender ceremony in Tokyo Bay. We went in there, and um, in 20 minutes, uh, MacArthur ended a war that lasted four years. My mother, bless her heart, who had a nervous breakdown because Tokyo Rose said our ship was sunk with all hands, um, she got out of the hospital. No, she, she, then she started getting Red Cross letters with big holes cut out in them. And then she thought I was a prisoner of war, and um, she took a chance. Don't ask me how. I don't know to this day how she did it. But she called the ship, and she said, is, uh, is Petty Officer Anthony Galley there? I said, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> the first time I talked That's to her amazing. in two years, and and... And she was astounded. I was astounded, you know. Uh, I guess if I had it to do all over again, I'd do the same thing.